Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. So this is the second lecture on trigonometry and spherical trigonometry. So I will uh, commence with sign of difference of two angles which is needed for uh, uh, generation of the sign tables for wave with various divisions of the quadrant. Then specifically I will take up the signs at the interval of 3 degrees, 1.5 degrees and 1 degrees in Jodhpati, these two are Jodhpati. So then a very important result called G wave Parasparanyaya, sign of A plus minus B, you know that formula for that then and also cos of A plus minus B. <coughs> then a little bit I will talk about Bhaskara 1 formula for the sine function which we have already seen. Then sines and cosines of multiples and submultiples of angles and some plain trigonometry formulae which are important and uh, which appear in uh, even uh, Brahmagupta's uh, Brahmaspata Siddhanta and a bit of spherical trigonometry at the end. So, which I will spherical trigonometry will discuss in detail in the next lecture. So, one can find out <coughs> if you know sin theta 1 and sin theta 2, one can find sin of theta 1 minus theta 2. So, in the verse 13 of Jodhpati, I told you the Jodhpati is the last uh, part of this Goladhyaya of Bhaskara 2. So, he gives the method to find the sign of difference of two angles given the individual signs. So, yet dorjayo antaram ishtayo yet kotijayo tatkruti yoga mulam dali krutam syad bujayo vyoga khandasya jivaivam aneka gha va. Take the signs of two ox and find their difference, then find also the difference of their cosines, square these differences and add these squares, extract their square root and halve it. This half will be the sign of half the difference of the arcs. Thus, signs can be determined by several ways. So, he had done it earlier for many other ways of finding signs. So, this is also one important formula, that is what he is trying to say. So, it is sin of theta 1 minus theta 2 by 2 is this sin theta 1 minus sin theta 2 whole square plus cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2 whole square. So, this can be shown easily. See for instance, suppose you have this figure, okay. So, this angle A1 O B1, so that is theta 1, then A2 O B2, so that is theta 2, the difference of this is A1 A1 O A2. So, this is the difference of the two angles. So, join this chord A1 A2 and uh, drop a perpendicular from O to that chord, so that is E. Okay, so, now you see O B 1, so that is essentially R cos theta 1 and A, A, 1, uh, A 1 B 1 is R sin theta 1. So, similarly O B 2 is R cos theta 2 and A 2 B 2 is uh, R um, sin theta 2. So, that is what I written here. So, if O E bisects this angle A 1 note you at uh, is equal to theta 1 minus theta 2 by 2. So, this E O A 2 sorry says E O A 2. So, that is theta 1 minus theta 2 by 2 it is bisecting. So, A 1 A 2 is 2 into so, A 1 A 2 is 2 into E A 2. So, which is 2 into sin theta 1 minus theta 2 by 2. So, this one. So, your a 1 f 1 a 1 f. So, your a 1 f this this one is a 1 f. So, it is clearly the difference of this is a 1 b 1 minus f b 1 which is a 2 b 2. So, it is essentially sin of theta 1 minus sin theta 2. So, similarly f a 2 is clear that it is cos of theta 2 minus cos of theta 1. So, if you add these things 
if you take this thing into account, so then the A1 A2 whole square is equal to 2 into A2 whole square, 2 into A2 whole square. So, you will get 2 into sin theta 1 minus theta 2 by 2 whole square is sin theta 1 minus theta 2 whole square plus cos of this thing. Uh, sorry, this must be sin of theta 1 minus sin of theta 2, I am sorry, these are not uh, sin theta 1 and this, sin of theta 1 minus sin of theta 2, so means cos of theta 1 minus cos of theta 2. So, therefore, or sin of theta 1 minus theta 2 by 2 is equal to half of the square root. So, which is the desired result? So, from sin of theta 1 minus theta 2 by 2, you are essentially getting um, from this, if you uh, from sin theta 1 and sin theta 2, you can find sin of theta 1 minus theta 2 by 2, then sin of from sin of theta 1 minus theta 2 by 2, you can get cos of theta 1 minus theta 2, right? Because cos of 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sin squared theta. So, from that and that is stated in a slightly different form by Varaha Mihira and Brahmagupta. And from cos of theta 1 minus theta 2, one can find out sin of theta 1 minus theta 2. So, that, so, uh, so that is how it is. So, from sin theta 1 and sin theta 2, you have found sin of theta 1 minus theta 2. So, that is the important thing. So, now we had discussed how to find 24 hour signs at the interval of 225 minutes. So, which is 3 degree 45 minutes. So, similarly we can find our signs at the interval of 3 degrees that is 34 division of the quadrant you see. And from this signs from this we can find signs at the interval of 1.5 degrees because if you know sin theta you can find out sin of theta by 2 from a previous formula. So, that is 64 division of the quadrant can also be determined. So, now we know see sin 30 degrees, sin 50 degrees and from this and sin 45 degrees we can get otherwise also we knew but anyway sorry, sorry sin 30 degrees then sin 15 degrees you can get from sin 30 degrees and then sin 45 degrees we know then sin 18 degrees we know that he had given the formula Bhaskara. So, then sin of 36 degrees also we had found right in the previous lecture. So, we write the angles in degrees whose signs can be found. So, if we know sin theta 1 sin theta 2 we can find sin of theta 1 minus theta 2 that is what I did just now and from sin theta sin of 90 minus theta can be found and sin of theta 2 by 2 can be found. So, the scheme is outlined here. So, from 18 I mean 18 degrees this is not 18 sign from 18 degrees you can find sin of 9 degree and also 81 degrees and then from 72 degrees from 18 you can get 72 degrees and from that you can get the sign of 36 degrees and 54 degrees from 54 you can get sign of 27 degree then uh, from 15 you can get 15 and 9. So, now from this difference this thing you know sign of 15 you know sign of 9 you know. So, from this you can find sign of 6 degrees and from that you can get sin of 3 degrees and if you know say sin of 15 and sin of 3 then you can get the difference sign of difference. So, that is 12 and then from 27 which you have got here you get 27 and 6 you can get 21 and 27 and 3 and 27 3 from 3 you can get 24 from 3 degree you can get 27 and 3 you can get 24 and from 36 and 3 degrees you can get 33 and 45 and 3 degrees you can get 42 and 42 and 3 degrees you get 39. I mean you have to apply all these formulae you see that is all I am saying and we have given the all the weapons are ready okay. So, we have signs of 3 degrees, 6 degree, 9 degree etcetera up to 45. Then sign of 48 is nothing but cos of 42 which is square root of 1 minus sin square by 42. So, the whole thing 48, 51 etcetera can be got from this you see that are the complements. And signs of angles at the interval of 1.5 degrees that is 64 division of the quadrant can be found from the above values and the formula for sending sin theta by 2 from sin theta. So, you can for 24 fold division we had and then you can get 30 fold division and then 60 fold division we can. I mean as I told you it is I mean lot of tedious work will be there 
nothing you know of difficult in principle because various kinds of square roots will be there and you know you know sum of square roots and within the square root also you may get square root all kinds of things so it is uh, in principle you can do but computationally it may not be no always not that uh, you know simple now bhaskara is a very famous formula which is uh, which we all know that sin of a plus b minus b is equal to sin a cos b plus or minus sorry this must be cos a not cos r cos a sin b of course always they will uh, talk of r sins so it is written as r sin of a plus minus b is r sin a by r into cos b and to uh, r sin a into what am i doing yeah it must be r cos b r sin a into by r into r cos b and r cos b uh, r cos a by r into r sin b so that is how it is so this is the so, so called famous g way parasparan nyaya in indian trigonometry so this is um, uh, the composition law so they would have known it you know even earlier bhaskara is in 12th century before that so many things were known i mean it is uh, you know it will be shocking if brahmagupta didn't know he would know it but it was not written in this form explicitly so bhaskara has written this and uh, bhaskara also doesn't give the proof of this in this uh, um work but uh, uh, you would have now known it proof will come later and with the positive sign it is called a samasa bhavana and with a negative sign it is called the antara bhavana and not antra antara bhavana so this how bhaskara states it in the verses 21 and 22 of jyotpati chapayoho ishtayo dorje mitak kotijaka hate trijya bhakte tayo raikyam syat chapaikya se dorjaka चापांतरस्य जीवा सैर अंतर संता अन्यज्ञा साधने सम्यज्ञ ज्या भावनोदिता इफ द साइंस ऑफ एनी टू ऑक्स ऑफ अकॉर्डेंट बी मल्टीप्लाई बाय देयर कोसाइंस रेसिप्रोकली एंड द प्रोडक्ट्स डिवाइडेड बाय द रेडियस देन द कोशंस विल व्हेन एडेड टुगेदर बी द साइन ऑफ द सम ऑफ द टू ऑक्स एंड द डिफरेंस ऑफ दिस कोशंस विल बी द साइन ऑफ देयर डिफरेंस दिस एक्सेलेंट रूल कॉल्ड ज्या भावना has been prescribed for attaining ascertaining the other signs so that is he realized that what an important thing is and of course it is very important <laughs> various uh, even for finding find differentials of signs and other this will be useful in uh, <clears throat> there is a work called siddhanta tatva viveka by kamalakara who was settled in varanasi so in 17th century so he also gives the jive paraspara nyaya and it's proof also in his commentary so this is what it is and it's possible that it may have appeared earlier also but uh, this is certainly siddhanta tatva viveka has been you know published and uh, people have um, are aware of the contents so it contains uh, is here and uh, he gives the proof in detail so it will be very useful you know if you look at the proof at some stage so it he formulates like this mitak kotijya krantignayo trijyapte chapayor jake tayor yogantare syatam chapa yogantara jake the quotients of the r signs of any two ox of a circle divided by its radius are reciprocally multiplied by their r signs the sum and difference of them the products are equal to the r sign of the sum and difference respectively of the two ox so essentially he is saying the same thing j of a plus minus b is equal to j a divided by trij a so that quotient is multiplied by cot j of b plus or minus cot j of a divided by trij a into j of b or in modern notation sin of a plus minus b is equal to sin a cos b plus or minus cos a sin b so then <coughs> the cosine of sum and difference of angles so that also it is surprising how bhaskara didn't state it but um, various scholars are you know of the opinion that he would have definitely known it but some of it has not been stated but uh, kamrakara states it explicitly so dorjyo ho koti moryoscha ghato trijyo drato tayo ho vyoga yogo jive stas chapai kyantara koti je the product of the r cosines of the and of the or signs of the two ox of the circle are divided by its radius 
the difference and sum of them the quotients are equal to the arcane or cosine of the sum and difference respectively of the two arcs. So, cos j of a plus minus b is equal to cos j of a into cos j of b divided by 3 j and then j of a by 3 j into j of b plus or minus in between. So, cos of a plus minus b is equal to cos a cos b this must be minus or plus cos a cos b minus or plus sin a sin b. So, this is also we are aware of the thing right it is an important formula we use it all the time in trigonometry. So, now some of these results are used by Bhaskara in fact as the G wave Paraspar Nyaya is used to generate the sign at the interval of 1 degree ok. So, because that will be more accurate if you are having the tabulated values at the interval of 1 degree then obviously, it will be uh, for uh, astronomical computations. So, it will be useful ok and it will be more accurate also instead of doing in doing a day, you know interval of 3 degree 45 minutes and doing interpolation this will be more accurate. So, what he is saying is he gives a method of generating the sign table for a 90 fold division of the quadrant and that is sign of multiples of 1 degree 1 degree 2 degree etcetera 90 degrees. So, he tells us how to find sign of theta plus 1 degrees given given sin theta. So, this is the Sagongeshu Sharamshena Varjita Buja Shinjini Kotija Dashabhi Kshunna Trisapteshu Vibhajita Tadaikya Magrajiva Syadantaram Purva Shinjini Pratamajya Bhave Devam Shasti Ranyas Tataha Vyasarde Ishta Gunabdi Agni Tulye Sur Namati Jakaha. So, that is what he is saying. The translation is deduct from the sign of Buja its 1 by 6 by 6 9 part and divide the tenfold uh, of koti by 573. The sum of the two results will give the following sign that is the sign of buja 1 degree more than the original buja and the difference between the same results will give the preceding sign that is the sign of buja 1 degree less than original buja. Here the first sign that is the sign of 1 degree will be 60 and the signs of the remaining ox may be successively found. And then it continues, he says that the rule, however, supposes that the radius is 3438, that the 90 signs may be found. That is what he is saying. So, what he is saying is that the first of all, he says that R sign of 1 degree is 60 minutes. So, 1 degree is 60 minutes. So, R sign of 1 degree, he takes 60 minutes to be arc itself. So, that is 60. So, R sign 1 degree is equal to 60. So, sign of 1 degree is 60 by R and uh, r is taken to be 3 4 3 h. So, which is from this is easily see that is 10 by 573 which is what he will be using you see. Now, to sign find sin theta plus 1 degree from sin theta. So, r will be there in both sides we can cancel even in the modern notation it will be sin of theta plus 1 degree he is saying sin theta you subtract the 1 by 6 5 6 9 part. So, it is sin theta into 1 minus this thing plus cos theta into 10 by 573 that is what he is saying. So, it is sin theta cos 1 degree plus cos theta sin 1 degree we know that you know he has given the g wave paraspara nyaya. So, now <coughs> we have seen that sin 1 degrees is 10, 10 by 573 according to him and uh, so how good it is how good is it sin of 1 degree is 10 by 573 according to Bhaskara. So, which is if you uh, calculate it it will be 0 0.01745207. The modern sign 1 degree I have calculated using a calculator. So, 1, 1, 0 0.01745245. So, it is slightly less, but it is fairly accurate. See. So, now here is the thing is you know that Bob Aryabhata had taken sign of 225 minutes is equal to 225. Here he is saying sign of 1 degree is this thing, you see. So, it is more accurate the smaller the arc greater is the proximity of the sign and the arc obviously you see. So, chapa is equal to the this arc r you see chapa is equal to j right. In fact, this is the sign 
and use chapa. So, if the chapa is very small, then you know this will be equal to this basically because this will become smaller and smaller and they are identical. So, if you take 225, sin of 225 is equal to 225, see that is you know that is how Bahari beta thing that is somewhat you know for a large angle you are assuming that sin theta is approximately equal to theta which is not uh, this thing or a low angle as large as 3 degree 45 minutes. It is not very bad, but not that accurate. If you take sin of 1 degree and sin of 60 is equal to 60, that is obviously more accurate. And in fact, Bhaskara will give what he gets for sin 25 to 225 later. It will be slightly less than 225. We saw that uh, uh, Nilakanta gave sin of 225 is uh, 224 minutes 50 seconds. So, he will give some other value. We will see that. <coughs> and according to Bhaskara, cos of 1 degree is 1 minus 6569, sorry, see must be 69, I think. What is the value? 6569, sorry, 6569. And uh, we can see how good it is. The cos of 1 degree is this, whereas the modern value is this. So, 5 decimal places is okay, you know, 6 also, it is 16 here and 7, 7 here, you see, almost 6 decimal places is fairly accurate. So, how did Bhaskara state the value of cos 1 degree as 1 minus 1 by 6 by 6 9. So, I just took this. He has not stated how it is this thing, but perhaps this is how it is. So, now cos of 1 degree is square root of 1 minus sin squared 1 degree and uh, you know that sin of 1 degree has taken it to be 10 by 573, right. I mean r sin is 60. So, sin of 1 degree is 60 by 348 which is 10 by 573. So, on this thing. So, now using the binomial expansion, so this will be remember that 1 minus square root of 1 minus x is approximately equal to 1 minus of x, you see. So, if I use that I will get 1 minus 6566.58, you know we can easily see this. If we stop at the first term in the binomial expansion, if we consider the next term also, okay. So, suppose I take this and take the next term. So, 1 minus square root of 1 minus x is 1 minus half x squared plus 3 by 8 x to the power of 4. So, that formula you know if you, the binomial expansion of you know 1 minus x whole to the power of half. Then I get 1 over 6568.08 and Bhaskara has taken cos 1 degree is equal to 1 minus 6 by 6 sign you see. So, it is good it is a very good this thing. Something like that he would have done, I do, but he has not stated you know that whether he has done binomial or things like that. And Bhaskara takes sin of 225 minutes is equal to 3438 into 100 by 1529. So, that is 224 plus 6 by 6 by 7 instead of 225 as in Aryabhatiya. So, this is an improvement over the Aryabhatan value of R sin 225 minutes is equal to 225. So, there Aryabhata takes the R sin of the R 225 to be R itself. So, here Bhaskara takes the R sin of a smaller arc to be the arc itself. So, naturally R signs of larger arcs will be less than the arcs themselves. So, it is better. Then <coughs> I will discuss briefly Bhaskara one formula for sin. Of course, in the first lecture today this is discussed elaborately what is uh, the formula and uh, and how it could have been positively arrived at and so on. So, this is the formula and uh, Bhaskara one seems to ascribe the formula to Aryabhata himself. It comes in his uh, 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 Aryabhatiya Bhashya or uh, Mahabhaskariya, one of these, right? Both. both, it comes in both, but he Bhashya he says that it is, you know, Aryabhata, uh, I mean, what he is saying seems to imply that Aryabhata himself knew it. So, R sin theta is a remarkable formula. So, this is the formula when theta is in degrees and uh, if you see that 40500 is equal to 5 by 4 into 180 into 180 and if you take theta is in radians, so then you will get this formula, you know, you can write it like this 4 into pi minus theta into theta to 5 by 4 pi squared minus pi minus theta into theta. I mean, the symmetry and all that has been explained earlier, you see. If you re replace theta by 180 minus theta, it will be invariant. So, obviously, this means that they know that you know I mean, sin of 180 minus theta is sin theta. 
and uh, so this tabular you know if you can if I am they just taken theta divided by pi by 2 and find out sound sin theta so that is for 0 0.1 into pi by 2, 0 0.2 into pi by 2 etcetera uh, calculate sin theta. So, this is the modern sin theta modern value using a calculator and Bhaskara formula gives this. So, only for this is plus 1 percent error you see all the rest is you know much uh, so typically it is of the 0 0.2 percent or so is a remarkably accurate formula ok. So, anyway I mean and this is how you get in fact two graphs are there here the sign <laughs> obtained from the modern actual this thing computing in with high precision and the Bhaskara formula you see. So, the resolution is that, that you know you, they you cannot differentiate the two graphs. So, if you have to have some high resolution and then take a small part then it will be this thing ok. So, this is the Bhaskara one formula I will not uh, comment more on that it has been much admired elsewhere and here specifically <laughs> already. So, ok. So, then signs of multiples of angles <coughs> in his Jodhpati Bhaskara to explain how signs of multiples of angles can be found using the above Bhavana principle. So, he says that yam siddhajato anyaja sadhane bhavana tad yata tulya bhavanaya patamajjardasya patamajjardena sa samasa bhavanaya dvitiyam dvitiyasya dvitiyaya naiva chaturtam ityadi. So, what he is saying is that you know suppose you know uh, Pratama Jarda I mean first sign if you know the first sign sin theta then you can find sin 2 theta by the that uh, Jiva Parspanya sin of theta plus theta is equal to sin theta into cos theta plus cos theta into sin theta. So, you can get sin 2 theta easily and from sin 2 theta you can get sin 4 theta that is what he says Pratama Jardena sa samasa bhavanya dvitiyam dvitiya se dvitiya naya if you subtract if you compose 2 theta and 2 theta you get 4 theta atha tulya bhavanaya atha atulya bhavanaya. So, but if they are different also one can use the same principle dvitiya trithiya yoho samasa bhavanaya panchamam. So, that is if you know sin 2 theta and sin 3 theta and of course, you will know cos 3 theta if you know sin 3 theta cos theta will be known. So, sin of phi theta is equal to sin 2 theta cos 3 theta plus cos 2 theta sin 3 theta. So, that is what he is saying. Antara bhavanya pratamam syad ityadi. So, of course, if you know sin 2 theta and 3 theta you can find out sin theta from thing. So, that is what he is saying in this uh, translation this thing is how we can understand. And sines and cosines of multiples and sub multiples of angles are also discussed in uh, Kamala Kara Siddhanta Tattva Viveka. He says hereafter I shall describe how to find the R sign of twice, thrice, four times or five times as arc having known the sum of sign of the sum of two arcs. The product of the R sign and cosine of an arc is multiplied by 2 and divided by radius the result is the R sign of twice the arc. So, athata dorjya var dorjya va gama vadami vi trebdi panchagna bujamsha jivam do koti jiva bi hati vinigno. So, R sign of twice can be found out and again for a cos 2 theta also is giving yad bahu kotijya kayoscha varga viyoga manam triba jivaya aptam nunancha tat koti gunasya manam viti visvangunanancha tadam shakanam. The difference of the squares of the R sign and the R cosine of an R is divided by the radius. The quotient is certainly the R cosine of twice that torque you see. So, maybe one of his students expressed doubt you know he said certainly it is so do not have any doubt. So, essentially he is saying that sin 2 theta is equal to 2 sin theta cos theta then cos 2 theta is cos square theta minus sin square theta. So, again he goes on afterwards. So, sin 3 theta is equal to 3 sin theta minus 4 sin cube theta cos theta is equal to 4 cos square theta minus 3 cos theta. So, sin 4 theta cos 4 theta sin phi theta cos phi theta etcetera. So, these all these things are given these are all you know we are doing all these things in BSC low need trigonometry all these came as exercises right. So, these are done and similarly it talks of signs of sub multiples of angles. 
So the following states of sub multiples of angles are also stated by him. Sin of theta by 2 is square root of half of 1 minus cos square theta. Sin of theta by 3 is 3 sin 1 by 3 sin theta plus 4 by 81 sin cube theta. Sin of theta by 4 is 1 half of square root of 2 minus sin theta by sin theta by 2. Sin of theta by 5 is. So these are all very important, you know. All these oscillation theories and all that, all these things will be used, you know. Harmonics, subharmonics, and all that, you know. These things will be very useful in uh, analyzing solutions of, you know, <coughs> oscillator problems. So, you done all this. So, then sines of sines and cosines, you see. So, did they know this, the sines, you know, that we know, you know, that uh, now that sin, you know, in the first two quadrants, sin is positive, and in the sec third and fourth, it is negative, and in cosine first and fourth it is positive and second and third it is negative, right. And tan we know that you know and you have this famous this thing right. Hmm. I mean all are positive here, sin is positive here, tan is positive here, cost is positive here. So, all students take coffee or all silver tea cups whichever way you want to remember. So, he is saying these things are realized, sines of sines and cosines in four quadrants are correctly understood in all the texts. It is explicitly stated in Manja, Manjula's Lagumanasa in the context of Manda correction. He says that the mean planet when diminished by its apogee or aphelion is the Kendra. Its R sign is positive or negative in the upper or lower half of the quadrants and R cosine is positive, negative, negative and positive respectively according to quadrants. So, that is what he is saying essentially. So, the sign is positive here and here and uh, sign is positive, sign is negative here, whereas cos is positive here, positive here and cos is negative here, <coughs> negative here. So, that is the this thing, but of course, they will not, uh, they will always mention the you know the signs separately actually you know in any astronomy formula you see suppose they are you know given suppose you have something like a plus suppose the modern formula is this a plus sin theta ok. How they express it in the thing you know is that you find the sign of the angle, but always sign of the angle means 0 to 90 degrees only you know according to them you see always is 0 to 90 degrees. So, that also is stated. So, here the sign, if you want to find the sign, so the, this angle only you take, you have to find the sign, ok. Suppose you have to take the sign of this angle, ok. So, then they say this you take the sign of this, uh, this thing angle which is past, which is uh, yet to come, ok. So, that is what they say. And similarly, in this quadrant, this is third quadrant, they will say, you know you take the sign of this angle ok, always because sign tables are all given for 0 to 90 degrees ok. And similarly in this quadrant like that, but what they say is you know that they specifically mention ok, in the first two quadrants after finding the sign, the sign should be added to this quantity and in the third and fourth quantity it should be subtracted ok. So, like that they will always say and similarly they will say that you know a plus cos theta. So, they will invariably say that you find the cos and then they say that you know in the in fact they will not say like you know 0, 90 and all that Murga di, Karkya di, Mesha di and that is what they are saying you see. So, this is Mesha you see Mesha this thing you know then the sixth from this is uh, and this is Capricorn, so this is Murga, ok. Uh, then uh, this is the beginning point of uh, Kataka and this is Tula, ok. So, then always they will say that you know if you are you know manipulating with signs, they will say that you know in from Mesha to Tula, beginning point Mesha to Tula you add this, this thing quantity and then Tula to this thing you subtract it. And similarly for uh, cosine they say you know 
Bruga to Karkia, you add and then Karkia to this thing. That is how. So it's always clear in context, you know. Because when they say they sign normally, they know the magnitude. But this is understood, you know, this is very clearly understood. Okay. So in Brahma Gupta again, some plain trigonometry formula. In chapter 14 of his Brahma Sputta Siddhanta, Brahma Gupta gives the relations among sines and cosines of a plane triangle essentially. He will not write it, I will I tell you. So, we know that in a triangle, you see, if you have a plane triangle, see, suppose you have a plane triangle <coughs> A, B, C. So, these are the A, B, C are the angles, small a, small b, small c are the sides. So, then we know that sin a by a is equal to sin b by b is equal to sin c by c. Of course, this is not stated in this form. Actually, he is not even discussing it in the section on mathematics. He is discussing in you know in this uh, astronomy one of the astronomy chapters. So, he does it in the context of the Manda correction which I had talked in the uh, in the morning in the previous lecture you see this should be also be, this which be P0 this does not move properly yeah. So, remember that this is the uh, this, uh, this is the some uh, direction called apogee okay, and then this uh, so this is the true planet this is the mean planet okay and uh, this angle p uh, p p this means p0 p p0 q so that is m okay and then so that is equal to a o p0 okay so that is m then that is called mean anomaly and then <coughs> this is called true anomaly a o p is empty and is equal to this so, essentially see this is 180 minus m and is empty. Okay. So, in this context he will say you know how these sides and angles are related. Sides and angles he has so sorry I do not have the verses, but he very clearly say that you know this is called or is called anthyapala and so on. So, what he is saying that you know this if you divide this by the sign of this then this by the sign of this and this by the sign of this they are equal kind of a thing. So, that is what he is saying which is equivalent to that okay? which is equivalent to that and then <coughs> we also know that uh, if this is a situation we also know that you know a square is equal to b square plus c square minus 2 b c cos a is a modern this thing formula for a plane triangle right. So, this is the three sides. So, this is this and this also is stated in that fashion you know that he says that if you take this o, o p. So, then is p p 0 this much p 0 I am sorry p p 0 o p 0 square them and then you know in fact what he is saying is essentially you will say this cos of a in fact, cos f a he will say is the is equal to b square plus c square minus a square by 2 b c. So, that is what he is trying to say. Yeah. So, this formula for the this is also there. <coughs> Though not in a general context, he is talking of this, but it is equivalent to that, you know, it obviously he knows you know how this sides and this thing sorry. sorry b squared plus c squared minus sorry <laughs> yes. yeah. okay. So, then a bit of spherical triangle and declination formula. So, I will just introduce the topic. So, next lecture I will discuss it in more detail okay. So, now I should define what is a spherical triangle. 
these are all plane triangles which you are considered plane figures we are considered but um, you know that uh, all the objects seem to be as i told you in the motion of the celestial objects you see they all seem to be in the surface of a sphere of a large radius right so they will raise and then go to the you think uh, maximum uppermost point and then come down raise here set here this will be the typical path of a this thing so they are all going in a so spherical you know so they are all you have to consider this sphere and various things so now <coughs> you have to define a spherical triangle because that is what will be useful for various quantities you know you want to find out the time from shadow i gave one example and various other things you know from declination from meridian transit so there are all some technical things but which are quite uh, uh, simple really okay so now you have to define what is known as spherical triangle okay so how that is defined we should this thing so draw a sphere okay draw a sphere okay so this is the center okay so now so this spherical surface suppose you some plane intersects this sphere okay and if that plane intersects if that plane passes through the center of the sphere okay it will always intersect in a circle suppose it is the plane passes through the center so this circle will have the radius of the sphere itself and that is called a great circle okay that is great circle not all circles may be great because you know you can you can cut it like this right you can cut it like this so if you cut like this so then the radius of this circle will be this which is less than r which is less than r okay so this is called a small circle and is a great circle okay so now <coughs> a spherical triangle is some thing which is formed by great circle arcs so if there is a this thing you know if you have this arc you know of this on which is lies on the great circle that's called a great circle arc and is a small circle arc okay but invariably all the you know um, very useful relations or which are somewhat simple relations are always between great circle arcs their lengths and angles okay so <coughs> suppose you have a sphere suppose you have three great circle arcs like this okay they are all great circles okay so that means that um, so this uh, they lie in a plane you see which uh, passes through the center of the sphere okay so now this so this great circle arcs they are called the sides of the spherical triangle a And then B and C, and this angle is spherical angle. Okay, so you have to define it carefully. What you have to do is you have to find the tangent to this here and tangent. You should find the angle between them. So that is called the spherical angle. Or alternatively, you take the plane. You know, so there is a plane which is passing through this and the center. So that you take and the plane, other plane will passing through this. So this angle will be the angle between these planes okay that is the spherical angle and so on so you have the spherical angles and spherical these things and there are many useful relations among them so one of them is you know that uh, sir, like cone? it is not a cone no no it is three spherical you know so this is a circle arcs that is not a cone all of them are lying on the surface of the so cone mean it is tapering you see here it is all the things are you know on the surface of the but the base the bc is a side is an arc bc is a circular arc uh, yeah all of them are circular arcs circular arc. yeah all of them are circular arcs and uh, there are some important formulae associated with this so modern 
in the modern notation sin a by sin a is equal to sin b by sin b is equal to sin c divided by sin c is called a sin formula in a spherical triangle and it is what is known as the cosine formula cos of a is equal to cos of b cos of c plus sin of b sin of c cos of b e. is called a cosine formula okay so in modern any modern spherical trigonometry book you know you will get all these these are the first few pages itself uh, it will be there in fact spherical trigonometry used to be a part of many the earlier many bsc courses had this astronomy okay spherical astronomy so in that uh, this uh, spherical trigonometry used to come so it is bsc level stuff you know not too complicated but one can derive all these things is not that difficult i will not uh, you can see that you know when a b c are small you see suppose you take a very small spherical triangle all the sides are very small okay so then the arc can be equal to this in you know, the side itself you know, it will be some kind looks like a straight line and sin a will be a and all that you get the plane triangle relation sin a by small a is equal to pi sin b by small b etc right so plane triangle result you will get so anyway so indian viewed it no this is sin arc these are arc no these are an arc yeah. everything is an arc yeah. so sin of that arc yeah 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 so this angle so that uh, arc yeah right yeah so this is the thing with all of them are actually arcs okay yeah so they are, they are also really in a way they are angles yeah so how do we this is the modern this thing of course this slide is different from uh, even uh, greeks also had they didn't have this exactly but somewhat in a different manner but indians did it in a different way so maybe i will i will discuss that in detail uh, tomorrow in the next lecture but i will just give one specific example okay so there is what is known as the declination of the sun okay so when the sun is you consider the path of the sun in the sky so this is called the equator and sun will be moving in a circle called a diurnal circle okay and this is the pole north pole direction and the distance between this and this that's called a declination how much away from the equator the sun is that is called a declination okay and it's called kranti in uh, uh, sanskrit in these things you know and this is called uh, <coughs> ahoratra vrutta and this is called vishuvad vrutta and so on so now declination is a very crucial thing which will determine various uh, uh, things you know the, the duration of the day from sunrise to sun, sunset how much time is there all this will depend upon the declination and the latitude of the place and so on okay so now the declination of the sun depends upon the its longitude okay the sun is essentially with respect to the earth the sun is moving as i told you in a circle called a ecliptic it is moving in a circle called a ecliptic and this is the equator and when it crosses the this thing that is called the equinox so that is on march 21st so march 21st and september 23rd See, they are the equinoctial days when the duration of day and night are exactly the same throughout the earth okay for all places called the equinoctial day okay so then how much this is sun is some sun is somewhere here so this is called a longitude this is called a longitude of the sun and the distance from the equator is called the declination and the angle between this is called the 23 and a half degree essentially so that is called the obliquity of ecliptic 
epsilon it is some num sometimes it is this thing you know sometimes it's called kanti vrutta it's called apara vrutta also so they are all you know <laughs> apara vrutta means it goes in the other direction is the anti clockwise direction apradakshina so that's why it's called apara vrutta and um, so this is the vishvad vrutta so the angle between them is this so then this delta and this will be related lambda so then that is what you get or sin delta is equal to sin epsilon into sin lambda remember the 23 and half degree is that latitude is the tropic of cancer all of them are related to this thing only you know this so that they, i mean in modern language it is earth's axis is tilted earth is moving around the sun and earth's axis is you know if you take the perpendicular to the ecliptic the earth's axis is tilted okay so that is precisely what is happening here also so in the modern language essentially sun is here okay earth is moving around earth is moving like this okay and this axis will be like this it's tilted to this so that is essentially when i should draw the figures and all that you know will be now the declination will be related to the longitude so that's what i but is a very simple this thing which is at the very critical use is made of this in indian astronomy in fact they will use this and the sairashika you see for getting all the spherical trigonometry formula in fact they will they never state the spherical trigonometry formula is that way all the things are you know somehow reduced to that kind of a um, formulation that is suppose there are two arcs are there okay from one arc suppose you drop a perpendicular what is the perpendicular distance suppose that is a a prime is a point on that arc oa which is inclined to the other arc so drop a perpendicular from a prime to the plane other plane so what is the length of that so that is how it is formulated and uh, for instance in this case so this epsilon is the uh, tilt you know the uh, angle between these two planes so then your oa is r and one can show that this oa prime is r sin lambda when it has traveled distance lambda in that tilted arc okay so then this oa prime this oa prime you see this is r sin lambda this is r radius of the whatever circle you are taking this is epsilon and this is the delta how much it is you know which is Up, up or down from the equator, so that is called the declination, and a prime b prime. See, this is the r sine delta. So then these two triangles are equal. O a b and O a prime b prime are equal. Okay, O a is r. O a is r. O a prime is r sine lambda. This a b is r sine epsilon. a prime b prime is r sin delta so from the similarity of these two triangles you get sin delta is equal to sin epsilon sin lambda this is called a formula for the declination no, the longitude yeah longitude so sin of lambda is called sometimes dorjia in uh, indian astronomy text so, so what is sin of lambda a dash b dash O A gamma A prime sorry gamma A prime you see this lambda uh, this lambda is that arc you know gamma A prime or so that is R lambda is the arc okay capital R into lambda so that is the arc okay and this is O A prime is R sin lambda yeah so typically indians they take uh, most of the text they take epsilon to be about 24 degrees you see so but more or less okay so slightly more than 23 and a half and other that keeps varying also and the tilt axis also will you know that rotate in a circle it's called precession of equinox we will not get into all the all that so this and this formula is you know important for many daily problems which i will discuss tomorrow time from shadow and all that you know how they are doing how they are considering so these are all discussed in the chapter called triprashna adhikara in astronomy text 
So, Triprasna is in a time, direction and space, Dik, Desha and Kala. Okay. So, from shadows various things can be done. So, all these will need the aid of spherical. The references are given here. Okay, we will stop here. Thank you.